You'd better believe it. We are talking about No Man's Sky because this game just keeps getting better and better. Update after update. And guess what? We have a very big update that just dropped for the game in the form of No Man's Sky Prisons. We're going to dive into all of the details about this brand new update. I mean, it's a complete visual overhaul. It includes some brand new features, but my goodness, this game is becoming a powerhouse in 2021 and 2021 is the year to definitely revisit this game if you haven't checked it out in a long time they've been doing some absolutely amazing stuff with this game in the form of expeditions which uh reward players with some really cool stuff as you can obviously see right here they've added a companion system a bunch of new stuff the next gen update and yes now we're talking about the prisms update which you are seeing right here so let's dive into these brand new changes and improvements to the game hey everyone what's happening open world games here hope you're doing good and we are talking about no man's sky prisms which is properly known as update 3.5 so let's talk about exactly what has changed so it dramatically refreshes uh, the No Man's Sky experience with a range of new visual features and technologies. The universe has never looked better with reflections, new texture effects, more biome detail, improved lighting, new skies, new warp effects, creature fur, and a host more besides. So, uh, yeah, this is an extensive blog post on their website that we're going to dive into right now. It's really impressive what they're doing in this update so it says screen space reflections no man's sky now supports screen space reflections ssr technology for pc next generation consoles and xbox one x as you can see here the game is shaping up it's looking beautiful and this is the way uh you know you handle your game even if it does have a rough launch you stick with it uh, you know, I think Cyberpunk and other games can learn a lot from this one for sure. But it says this, screen space reflections have been used to add stunning reflective surfaces and to improve lighting quality in the space anomaly space stations, Atlas stations, uh, freighter hangars, derelict freighters, and more. Busy locations feel more dynamic than ever with starships and life forms creating reflections as they move and lighting in reflective areas feel higher quality and more realistic as you can see another screenshot right here so this is more about you know bases uh, any surfaces that are reflective but yeah it's looking really really good obviously uh, and this is going to further improve that next gen experience as well you could see uh right here how good the game is actually looking now also this update i should know includes uh you know improvements to the companion system you can now actually find uh those creatures that fly around and call them your pet and companion. As you can see, <laughs> players are flying around in this world. Uh, but yeah, here we go. We're going to talk about volumetric lighting. It says new styles of volumetric lights have been introduced with colored and directional volumetrics used to add atmosphere all across the universe. Now, examples include the menacing searchlights of the Sentinel drones, a soft glow of uh, bioluminescent flora, and the bright headlights of starships and exocraft. Check that out right there beautiful indeed i love their website by the way uh whoever did this website did a great job it showcases the game uh big time now it says volumetric lighting techniques have also been significantly optimized and are now available in vr as well uh now they said uh, they added hyperdrive warp effects as interstellar travel has undergone a sensory sensory overhaul excuse me with the audio and visuals of the warp experience dramatically reworked as well that was also on display in uh the uh trailer as well but uh they have a bunch of cool stuff uh as you can see flying around uh, right here uh as well in what was that a dust storm uh now they have what is called a deep learning super sampling pc players with compatible 30 series nvidia graphics cards can take advantage of dlss gaining vastly improved performance and visual quality. Now, DLSS is an NVIDIA RTX technology which incorporates anti-aliasing and super sampling techniques to improve image detail at higher resolutions without comprom compromising frame rate. Learn more at the NVIDIA site. So yeah, uh, cool stuff going on there with the DLSS technologies. But they've also updated the caves. You know, uh, one thing about games is... Uh, Caves can be super drab, you know, apart from the actual open world exploration. And it seems like they're getting in tune to that fact and they want the caves to be more interesting uh, in this game. So they've added more lighting effects and 
made the caves more diverse and more detailed in this game. So exploring is more enjoyable. And they actually have some uh, screenshots here showcasing what they've done with these caves. As you can see, uh, that looks absolutely beautiful. And then we have uh, some new lighting effects as well in the caves going on there. But yeah, overall impressive stuff going on in the underground for sure. But what about parallax occlusion mapping? What is this? It says, new parallel parallax occlusion mapping technology has been used to bring additional depth and definition in previously flat surfaces. Many textured surfaces in space anomaly and planetary structures now appear more detailed. Here's the example. So here is uh, the, uh, let me scroll this over. If this wants to work, oh man, it's not working. But here's the after. You can see the improved detail here, uh, right here with the actual shadowing, shadowing on the texture. So yeah, some stuff done there uh, to add that detail. Don't know why the before and after is not working on their website, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, some cool stuff going on with the actual details to textures and things like that. Uh, but also they say this uh, meteorological rewards hazardous weather events such as meteors or lightning impacts now have a chance to spawn valuable objects creating lucrative opportunities for explorers who brave extreme planetary conditions interesting so they've added in some sort of new reward system related to these hazardous areas in the game now they have improved torch visuals as well so that's cool uh don't forget about refractions it says new lighting technology brings refractions to no man's sky the new effects can be seen all over the universe including glass based parts starship cockpits force fields and bubbles and more bubbles so you can see the reflective surfaces and refractions my god that is beautiful they are really pushing the graphics more and more. Uh, I didn't expect them to keep going with this game so much. I'm super impressed with the team. Now they added appearance modifier UI refresh. The UI for the appearance modifier has been refreshed for a cleaner and clearer customization experience. Nice. That looks really, really clean, doesn't it? That's fancy smancy. I like it. I approve. So uh, now they also have exotic companions. The range of creatures that can be adopted as your companion has been hugely increased to encompass virtually every life form you encounter. So they have really updated the companion system, as you can see, big time in No Man's Sky. Now, also, they added dramatic star fields. The variety and quality and number of stars in the sky has been significantly increased, a dazzling reminder of the vastness of the universe. You can see the before how it's not as detailed and then the after you could see the stars uh, pretty clearly here uh, so yeah that clarity is going to be uh, really cool to see from the planets and then warping into space uh, seamlessly as well now creature fur has also been upgraded as well bring extra variety and additional fuzziness to the creatures oh it's almost like you can go up to it and pet it right there uh, but yeah as you can see they're doing a lot of stuff with companions and pets Definitely, again, I'm going to be revisiting this game for sure. They've uh, enhanced the photo mode as well because they know they're making a beautiful game here. I'm sure of it. Uh, light shafts have been added to the game. The god rays, as you can see, uh, have been improved and reworked to create more atmosphere in this game. Looking good, looking sharp for sure. Look at all the bubbles. Bubbles. Uh, now it says bite beat sharing and drum improvements. Now the bite beat synthesizer now allows you to save tracks in a personal library and use them as a custom soundtrack to your exploration experience. Nice. That's awesome. Now the bite beat, uh, excuse me, library also allows you to send and share tracks with other players spreading your music across the stars. That is so freaking cool. So a lot of uh, multiplayer cooperative stuff going on in the game as well. Again, you know, previously they did have, of course, Expeditions. If you didn't hear about this, they added that into the game, which is a co-op centric type mode where exploring with friends is a big, big, uh, you know, staple of that mode. But yeah, now we have also this right here, movable freighter bases, it says, when purchasing a new freighter, your existing freighter base is automatically transferred and reconstructed. In addition, freighter base layouts can now be reset at any time from the freighter upgrade control terminal. Nice! So that is awesome uh, right there. Extra planetary details, so they added more details for uh, the planets. It says, 
players on next generation consoles or PC players who use ultra settings will see a dramatic increase in planetary detail across a whole range of environments. So uh, that's once again, not working for me to scroll over for you, but you can see the more how there's more detail here with the uh, planets uh, right there. So yeah, that's cool. Now they also improved the rain effects as well. Say rain effects have significantly improved. Rainstorms are heavier and the droplets themselves refract the light bringing storms to life in a new way Ooh, i love a good thunderstorm let me tell you what uh it says as the rain pours the planet surface now becomes slick and damp and even planetary creatures and the exosuit itself slowly becomes soaked through man noise uh synthesis la laboratory i should say a new terminal has been added to the blueprint research area of the space anomaly this new automated research station will provide recipes for crafting components in exchange for a nanites ooh interesting some new upgrades there as well so it's not just all visual improvements as you can see it says particle effects have improved explosions have been enhanced for more satisfying bursts when destroying sentinel drones uh and shooting through asteroids and hostile aircraft and spacecraft nice so you can see how massive they have gone in here uh, how massive these updates are to the actual uh game and graphics says quality of life improvements a number of ui and quality of life improvements have been added these include an icon to show when new items have been added to an inventory improvement to the ui when receiving several blueprints at the same time and improvements to planetary charts charts will no longer be consumed should they fail to find a building so yeah cool quality of life improvements right there rideable flying creatures also have been added as you can see right here go out there and tame them if you dare uh so yeah i'm curious if anyone can find like dragon like creatures now the space station core let's see what this is about space station uh hangar has been dramatically overhauled please observe flight path conventions while docking the station controller will be watching yeah, nah, nah, nah. that definitely reminds you of mass effect uh for some weird reason but yeah they have these full-blown patch notes right here uh i basically went over the gist of it but if you want more detailed patch notes i'll try to throw those in the description below as well but my goodness uh they are not messing around with no man's sky they are really passionate about this game uh and it shows through their updates and again 2021 is looking like the year if you really want to begin your journey in no man's sky i highly recommend it i'm sure many of you might already have it um you know purchased and all you got to do is reinstall it i suppose uh, but yeah a lot of the next gen features by the way are free for anyone that already owns the game on like ps4 or xbox one and you have that next gen console so that's another incentive to get in on uh, that next gen experience as well but let me know how many of you realistically are going to consider hopping back into no man's sky in 2021 sound off let me know but thank you all so much for watching stay tuned for more updates about no man's sky and open world gaming goodness and i will see you all next time take care